Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. Um, I've had a lot of customers uh, asking about, they want to know what our new e-bike solar charging kits compare with. And a lot of them talk about monocrystalline foldable solar panels. People are aware, of course, of power film. Um, and I just kind of wanted to go over a little bit of technical details, pricing and information, and let you know what we do truly compare with. And that would be power film. So I've brought one of the PowerFilm solar blankets here. I'm going to do a comparison, give you a bit of a, a little bit of technical information, not much, just uh, basically just weights and, and um, physical size and prices and all of that. Um, and just kind of give you some information on why we compare to those and not mo standard monocrystalline. So let me pull out the PowerFilm first. Now the one I brought, they've got a 120 and a 220 watt PowerFilm uh, these are solar blankets, but they, these they use specifically amorphous uh, solar cells. These are what we compare with, the ones with amorphous solar cells. So again, not monocrystalline, and I'll go into that in a little bit. So the bonus to this guy is um, when this is laid out, like you can see how small it is, nice and lightweight, easily fits in one of, uh, one of the bags there quite easily. Uh, when this is laid out, um, it, technically it's 86 and a half inches by 55 inches, and this is 6.3 pounds. 120 watts, so nice and light, sweat, nice and lightweight. They do have just um, it's their standard connector, uh, and this can be used to attach a multiple of devices. I know there are other people offering these with um, uh, e-bike solar charging kits as well too. There is a 220 watt option as well. I just didn't bring it because it, it's a little bit too bulky to fit in the bag, so that's the reason I didn't bring it. But I'll give you pricing and information on that in a bit. Um, so this 120 watt in US dollars, these are retailing right now for 1,729. So what this would compare to, we, we're now offering right now a 220 watt and a 300 watt solar e-bike charging kit. So let me grab our R220. This is it right here. So now same thing, sorry, I got a wasp here. Okay. <laughs> so this is our 220, basically almost the same size when it's folded up. Um, this is 9.9 uh, .9 pounds, so an extra 100 watts for basically 3.5 pounds is pretty impressive. Um, the connectors that we use on this, so we have a similar, well it's not the same, but same premise. So we have our Anderson SB connector, which is right here. This can be used to basically connect to uh, a multitude of different power stations on the market. Um, we've got bug kits, we have... Um, different kits so if you want to you want to attach to basically a standalone lithium battery or batteries um, as well as uh, any of the portable power stations like i was saying your vehicle batteries your trailer batteries you name it so it's very versatile on what you can do what we have that power film doesn't to me it just made sense this is our waterproof cover by the way um, oh and mentioning waterproof power film is water resistant our product is waterproof the reason theirs is only water resistant, they use, um, their material is just fabric. We, we use a rubberized fabric with ours that we actually get from uh, Japan and Germany. It's an EETF um, coating that basically actually enhances and helps um, capture more sunlight as well too. Okay, but back to this. This is our quick charge box. So this is where we differ from power film in, in one of the ways. So we have... Four, con uh, four connections here. So waterproof cover here, and then we have our dustproof water resistant covers here. So we have two USB charging ports, a USB type C, and a DC5521. So what that translates to is you can use these ports, so you don't need, let's say, um, a battery bank or a portable power station. Uh, you can just use the quick charge and you can charge smaller devices and some larger ones. You, you can charge, let's say, a a phone, a GPS, if you've got, let's say, like a Garmin watch, like I have here, um, uh, two-way UHF, VHF radios, handheld ham radios. Uh, the USB Type-C, if you've got a newer laptop or MacBook, that gives you the ability, you can actually charge those directly from the back as well too, which is actually pretty cool. So yeah, that's where we differ a little bit than, um, than PowerFilm, but I will just wanted to show you that, and actually also differ compared to a lot of the others on the market. Now, how this compares with power film with the solar cells, they use amorphous solar cells. Uh, we use, which are, um, the, the amorphous solar cells, they're less efficient, so they require a larger footprint for them to work very well in low light conditions, which they do. And I'm going to lay these out and you're going to see the footprint difference between their 120 and our 220. We use SunPower Gen 3 
solar cells or the, the Maxian cells with a true 24.1% efficiency rag, rating. And we will brag all day long about that because efficiency rating is one of the most important things to know. So that's why we mentioned that. So what that translates to in non-techie term, this will work as well as power film and low light conditions. Now I have customers talking about because most of what's on the market is, is, is known as monocrystalline. That's the solar cells they use on, um, like there's brands like EcoFlow, Jackery, Blue Eddy, any of those brands, uh, many of the others. Um, uh, they'll do their foldable panels, but they're all monocrystalline solar that they use. So they're bigger, they're bulky, and to be blunt, they do not work as well as ours or power film in low light conditions. So that is the big difference. And plus they're not as compact and lightweight as well too. But here, let me lay out the power film. Oh, oh, and pricing by the way, I forgot to mention that. So power film was, their 120 watt is 1,729. Our 220 watt is 1,794. You're basically $65 difference for an extra 100 watts. So to me, that's kind of pretty easy math. When I lay this out, it's 68 and a half inches by 36.6. And like I said, approximately 10 pounds. So for three and a half pounds, and $65 more, you get an extra 100 watts. That's kind of easy math in my eyes. But let me lay out the power film so you can see how that looks laid out. And then you can see the difference using the larger footprint because of amorphous solar cells that they use and the footprint that we offer because we specifically and only use SunPower Maxian cells. Whereas all the rest on the market are monocrystalline, which we do not compare with, like I was mentioning. So here's the power film going to lay this guy out. And like, like I said, this is a very good product. I did use power film when I was in the military and we did offer it when I got out and I consulted to a satellite communication company because there was nothing else on the market available. So that's 120 watts laid out. So I'm going to lay R220 out and let me just go over, I'm going to center it, kind of give you an idea. And I'll bring the, the camera over in a bit, just as a comparison. So here's PowerFilm 120 watt solar blanket on the ground, and then our 220 watt solar blanket over top of it. Gives you a different perspective of size. The reason that we require a smaller footprint, as I mentioned earlier, is we use SunPower Gen 3 Maxian solar cells, which are considered the most efficient solar cells on the market. And that's the reason we use those. Basically, again, what that translates to, either power film or ours, will work extremely well in bright light conditions. And we will excel over all monocrystalline solar cells on the market in low light conditions. Again, that's why we chose to go with this. But yeah, that gives you an example of size. This is what we truly compare with. A couple other little bits of information um power film just like ours you can walk on this you can drive on it you can shoot through it it's still going to work do we recommend you shoot through it no you don't it's the exact same thing with our solar blankets because of how we have them uh, connected internally you can drive over them we actually have a video with a chev truck going over it and to be <laughs> i laugh in the video because i joke that the chevy made it over the blanket and whereas a ford would and not a chev but either way um so same thing, you can shoot through ours, you can drive over them, you can walk on them. They're going to work well. So now let me grab both solar charge controllers to let you know a little bit of information on that. So with our 220 watt, we've got a couple options. We can charge with the Genesis solar charge controllers. That's this guy right here. We, um, and by the way, we have a 300 watt solar blanket charging option as well. Uh, a solar blanket um, e-bike charging option. I just didn't bring it because I wanted to focus on this for right now. Um, the Genesis, so we have the option, we can charge 48 and 52 volt batteries with this. We're working on, we'll probably be able to do 36 with this very quickly. We're just talking with one of the engineers on that because we have to do a little, a little bit of programming. Now with this, we also offer an Ella Joy controller. Now the bonus to this guy is first it shows you your, your, your volts and your amps going in and then how they switch because both of these are what are called step up voltage controllers. So what they do is they increase the voltage coming from the solar blanket so it's usable voltage. So as an example, my e-bike that you see right there takes, it's 52 volts, uh, the batteries on that. And it's two batteries which total 35 amp hours. 
So you would require with that one, it's 58.8 volts to charge that battery system. So you can do that with our 220 or our 300 watt solar blanket. The cool thing is you can program this and manually put in 58.8 and there you go. Now you're doing 52 volt batteries or you can program it for 60 or 72 or 48 volt batteries. So you have the option. So this guy gives you a little bit more flexibility than the Genesin. Both are really good products. I'm quite happy with both and we have a lot of customers quite happy with these. So that's what's offered with it. Um, other than that, um, a little bit off topic, but if anybody's looking for an e-bike, e-cells, I did a lot of research. E-cells to me is one of the best brands on the market and best bangs for the buck. I, um, David, who's the owner of the company, was nice enough to give us a coupon code. Not only will I have links in the bottom for our 220 watt solar blanket, our e-bike charging kits, our 300 watt solar blanket e-bike charging kit. Um, I'll have a link with, um, he gave us a discount code. So if you want to purchase one of their, one of their many options for, for e-bikes that they have, and they're out of Nevada, they're a US based company. If you want to purchase one of their bikes, you can get a hundred dollar discount using that uh, discount code. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention real quick, I talked about power film. They've got a 120 and a 220 watt uh, solar blanket option. The 220 I didn't bring out just because it's more bigger and it's bigger and bulky. When it's laid out, it's 172 inches by 57.7 versus this 120, which is 86 and a half by 55. The 220 watts also 14 pounds. Lastly, I wanted to say really quick, the 220 watt is $3,899. So that's a big difference as well too, versus our 220, which is $1,794.99. So that is a difference of less than half the price. But either way, guys, I just wanted to give that information. Any other questions, definitely reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. My name is Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. All my information will be below. We are shipping within about three business days and we do have stock available. Okay. Have a great rest of your day, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.